Hi, right, this time I'll be talking about uh, Gambit, Marvel Legends Gambit, and here he is. Now, this is the uh, the gift set version. He came in a uh, this has a nice leather coat. It came in a different kind of cloth coat uh, package alone with a sentinel base. Uh, in I think uh, series four of the um, of the Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends. Now Gambit, let's get right into the backstory. Gambit is uh, his real name is Remy LeBeau, and he first appears in uh, very briefly. It's just maybe even in shadows if I recall uh, Uncanny, Uncanny X-Men annual number 14 he makes his first full appearance in Uncanny X-Men number 266 in 1990 they're both from the year 1990 and uh, his he was raised by this um, uh, sort of organization called the Thieves Guild and uh, this criminal organization they trained people to be uh, obviously thieves and uh, they were in conflict with another criminal organization called the Assassin's Guild and so when he came of age he was going to be married to uh, someone from the Assassin's Guild. Uh, well, her brother didn't take too lightly uh, to that, so he challenged Remy to a duel. And Remy killed him. And for that, he was ostracized, told not to, not to come back, thrown out of the Thieves Guild, uh, and where he kind of drifts around, uh, and uh, you know, he uses his uh, skills as a thief and as a mutant to uh, make a living. Uh, and it's there that he runs into Mr. Sinister, and Mr. Sinister contracts him to find some other mutants uh, who are, shall we say, of the uh, low moral uh, persuasion, and he actually forms the Marauders, who uh, do all the uh, slaughtering of the Morlocks in the Mutant Massacre. And uh, so this is a secret that Remy uh, hides for a long long time uh, and uh, he is very hesitant for the X-Men to find out about that. Uh, he runs into a de-aged Storm and basically uh, since she was a thief when she was little they kind of fall together and form up a partnership uh, for a little bit until she regains her memories of being an X-Men and basically drags him along into the world of the X-Men. So he does become an X-Men, although most of them do not trust him because he's a shiftless uh, thief. Um, and, and, and when Bishop comes back from the future, it, things get even more tense because Bishop believes that uh, Remy is a traitor to the X-Men who sets off a whole, uh, you know, a uh, world controlled by, or Bishop's future, basically. And, uh, so, but eventually he, become, he does become accepted by the X-Men, or most of them. Uh, even if they don't really like him, they kind of tolerate him. And, uh, he does form a romantic relationship with Rogue.
it sort of continues on as an X-Men for a while. Uh, and, and he actually, just recently, he has, be or not recently, but uh, he becomes the uh, one of uh, Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Actually, Death. Well, he does this to, uh, he says, to infiltrate the operation, uh, but soon is totally sub sub subverted to uh, Apocalypse and uh, you know, just this bad situation for him. So he's eventually cured of Apocalypse's control and uh, is, comes back into the fold of the X-Men. So his powers, um, what he does is he converts potential energy into kinetic energy and uses them to charge objects uh, with, the, with the energy, uh, which eventually causes them to explode. Now, he favors uh, playing cards because they're nice, light, and you can carry a bunch of them in, in with him. Uh, so he's got lots of ammo. Uh, he's also an uh, expert at Sauvate, um, which is that uh, sort of French martial art uh, with lots of kicking and uh, uh, acrobatics. And he uses, he's an expert at using a telescoping staff. I don't have the staff. Um, well, I do, but I can't find it. Uh, but I do, he does come with this nice little uh, effect, kind of, uh, of his little card throwing trick. You can see he's got the, all the aces on there, the aces of the end, at the very the top, the ace of, I guess that's supposed to be a heart. Um, and he does kind of hold it. Okay, there we go. I think I've got it in there pretty good right now. So, okay, so he doesn't hold his freaking thing anymore. He used to. I don't know why. I've been sitting around for the past 10 minutes trying to get this thing to work. Um, but anyway. He used to, I guess he's, I've noticed something with this guy is that over time, his joints have really, really loosened. So, he just, the weight of it just drops, drops, he just drops it. Um, of course, he's in his classic 90s look with the Jim Lee headgear with exposed hair on top uh, but they really got the design intricate design of his uh, yes collar piece and uh, armored boots uh, done very sort of fake leather coat uh, is a lot better looking I think than the uh, regular figure. Uh, he used to stand very well too, but as you can see right now the ankle joints are uh, very floppy. He's just become very floppy over the years. Uh, more so than any of my uh, other Marvel Legends uh, figures. So that's it and uh, you'll see more of the um, gift set, X-Men gift set on the way starting with my next video which will be Rogue.